Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli. So in this video we are going to learn how to add Facebook leads to Google Sheets for plumbing business. So here I am an owner of a plumbing business and to promote my business I am running a Facebook ad. So in this case I want whenever a new lead is received automatically the details of that lead should be added in my Google Sheets. So to automate this process we will use an automation software named as Pavli Connect in which we need to connect our trigger and our action. So in this process our trigger application will be Facebook lead ads and our action application will be Google Sheets. So to learn this process step by step let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video we are going to learn how to add your Facebook leads to Google Sheets for plumbing business automatically. So here I have a Facebook page of my plumbing business with the name Pipe Dream Plumbers and to promote my business I am running a Facebook ad. So in this case I want whenever a new lead is generated automatically the lead detail should be added in my Google Sheet. Here you can see the Google Sheet which I have created with the name Pipe Dream Plumbers Facebook Lead. These are some basic fields such as lead name, lead email and phone number. So to automate this process we will use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. This is the home page of Pabli Connect. You can visit this page by simply browsing for the URL pabri.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user, so I'm clicking on sign in. After signing in, you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to connect my applications, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you can see a create workflow button on the top right corner. Here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this button. In this create workflow dialog box, we have to give a name to our workflow. Here I'm giving the name as Pipe Dream Plumbers Facebook Lead Ads to Google Sheets. And here I'm going to select my folder as Facebook Lead Ads to Google Sheet. You can select your folder as per your need. Also, you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now to create a workflow, I'm going to click on this create button. Here in this workflow window, you can see two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action step. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger. Here I'm going to select my trigger application as Facebook lead ads and my trigger event as new lead instant so that whenever a new lead is generated instantly Pabli Connect should capture the response. And now to connect my Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect here I'm going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection I'm going to select add new connection. If your Facebook lead ads account is already connected with Pabli Connect then you can click on select existing connection. And now I'm going to click on this connect with Facebook lead ads. Here I'm going to select my Facebook account and authorization successful. After building the connection moving forward, here it is asking me to select my page. So here I am going to search for my page which is Pipe Dream Plumbers. And after selecting the page, it is asking me to select Lead Gen Form. So here in my Meta Business Suit, I have already created Lead Ad Form with the name Contact Form. You can create your own Lead Ad Form as per your need. So now moving back to Pabli, here I am going to select my Lead Gen Form with the name Contact Form. So here I have selected a single form because I want only the leads of this form should be captured by Pabli Connect. But if you want the leads of all the forms should be captured by Pabli Connect, then you can select all Lead Gen Forms. Now moving forward, here I am going to click on the Save and Send Test Request. And here you can see as it is waiting for webhook response that means here we need to do a test submission and to do a test submission let me take you to meta for developers. This is the home page of meta for developers from here I'm going to click on this more and from here I'm going to select tools. Now here in developer tools I'm going to select lead ads RTO debug tool. Here in lead ads testing tool I'm going to select my page which is named as pipe dream plumbers and now I'm going to select my form as contact form and now to submit a new form I'm going to click on this preview form. Here I've entered a dummy data where I've entered full name as dummy user, email as demo at the rate pablitudes.com and a random phone number. And now I'm going to click on this next and then submit. And here you can see it says your test lead has been sent. So now let's move back to Pabli. And here you can see we have successfully received a response where we have received full name, email, phone number and other details. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger. Now let's move to our action application. Here I'm going to select my action application as Google Sheets and my action event as add new row. And now to connect my Google Sheets with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Again here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your Google Sheets account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now I'm going to click on this sign in with Google. Here I'm going to select my account. And here I'm going to click on this allow and give access to Pabli as your data is secured with Pabli. 
authorization successful. Moving forward, here it is asking me to select the spreadsheet name. So here I've already shown you my Google Sheet, which is named as Pipe Dream Plumbers Facebook Lead. So moving back to Pabli, here I'm going to select my spreadsheet, which is Pipe Dream Plumbers Facebook Lead. Moving forward, here it is asking me to select the sheet. So here I'm going to select the sheet as sheet 1. And now it is asking me to select lead name, lead email and phone number. So basically these are the fields which I've entered in my Google Sheet. So instead of entering the data manually, here I will map the data. Mapping data means insert data from previous tip. That means here I will map the data from the response I've received in my Facebook lead ads. Mapping makes our text dynamic so that whenever a new lead is received, automatically the new lead details will be updated here. So here I'm going to map the lead name, moving forward, here I'm going to map the email and here I'm going to map the phone number. So here I'm done mapping the data and now I'm going to click on the save and send test request. And here you can see we have successfully received a response. So now let's go and check our Google Sheet. And here you can see we have successfully received a response where we have received lead name as dummy user, lead email as demo at .com and a phone number. So with this, we have successfully set up our automation. Now let's test our automation to check whether it is working or not. Now to test our automation, let me take you back to lead ads testing tool. Here to submit a new lead, I need to delete my previous lead. Because it says you can create one lead per form, you will need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one. So here I'm going to click on this delete lead. And after clicking on this delete lead, you need to refresh your window and that's a necessary step. Here in lead edge testing tool, I'm going to select my page again, which is pipe dream plumbers. And then I'm going to select my form, which is contact form. And now to submit a new lead, I'm going to click on this preview form. So here I've entered another dummy data where I have entered full name as test lead, email as test at the rate and a random phone number. And now I'm going to click on this next and then submit. And here you can see it says your test lead has been sent. So now let's go and check our Google Sheet again. And here you can see we have successfully received another lead with the lead name test lead, lead email as test at the rate and a random phone number. So with this, we have successfully tested our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as Facebook lead ads and our action as Google Sheets. So that whenever a new lead is received in our Facebook lead ads, automatically the lead details should be added in our Google Sheets as a new row. If you want to use the same workflow, then you can find the clone link in the description box below. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can contact us on support at zaritpabli.com. If you have any query, you can contact us on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, then you can contact us on www.pabli.com. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.